Nate Quinn has always been a natural leader. From the very time that he was his high school basketball player of the year in, in Oklahoma to come to Drury, and he was one of the main reasons that the Drury Panthers won the national championship in 1979. He was a lot, a lot of the glue that held the team together. He's the only basketball player we've ever been at Drury that's been an All-American academic and All-American basketball player. He left here and went on to a very successful coaching career and then of course he went on to a very successful career as an administrator. I think Nate typifies the type of graduate that we'd like to have at Drury. He's just always been special. Uh, I, I can't uh, tell you how much that uh, the, his peers respected him and wherever he was, was there's a crowd. Uh, they just naturally gravitated toward him and good leaders are that way. Just to see uh, a young man come from Bowley, Oklahoma to Springfield, Missouri and um, do what he's done is just really rewarding. When I think of mentoring, I think of a mentor and I think of who in my life has been a great mentor and when I look at those qualities, I really can't think of anyone better that exemplifies that than Beth. Every hour she's here, she's either visiting a class or going to a lecture or going to an art opening. She really not just uh, meets with faculty and students and staff, but she really cares about what they're doing and, and cares how they're fitting into Drury and, and how things are going from their perspective. So she really takes the time to listen and find out what's going on in the trenches and find out how our students are doing and really looking to see what kind of experiences that they have here on campus. A lot of us that were in college together, we've kind of lived our lives and raised our families and this, that and the other, but to kind of get back and reconnect has been really good and, and to see what we've all done in our journey since we left Rory to where we are now has been very interesting. A fall day in 1961, I met Rex Bright. He was a senior at the time and student body president. I met him at a Lambda Chi rush party and that friendship has continued until the present. Rex has never followed a predictable path, trust me. He is multi-talented, humorous, ambitious, entrepreneurial, and a very loyal leader in the Fraternity Alumni Association. One of the leading developers of the whole field of cosmetic dermatology. He's just a great am ambassador. He represents Drury well. A kid, from Peel, Arkansas, to um, rise to his level of accomplishments and do it through hard work and brilliance and friendship is, is the accomplishment you want. He's, he's sort of the um, epitome of the liberal arts. A couple years, I think, after I moved here, he ran for sheriff and, you know, came by, we got to talk a little bit, and, and really just, you know, admired what he stood for. I've heard so many stories about Roy, and he does, he's not there just to enforce the law. He's genuinely someone that wants to come out and serve. He's not only just an elected official, you know, he's out there trying to better our community. And I think that's really what Drury, you know, does for us, is that, you know, they're not just educating you and pushing you out. They want you to take everything you've learned from Drury, the friendships, that leadership, all those things, and go out into the communities and make them better. I've got countless stories of where he's went above and beyond to try to help someone. He wants to change the community by making people better. And I think that's admirable. That's not in his job description, but, but he makes it a big part of his job. And I think that kind of sums up a lot of what he does for this community, going above and beyond and saying, hey, I'm not, I'm not just here as a sheriff, I'm trying to change lives. And whether that's through coaching or church or just being a good friend, you know, he does that. She is everybody's dream in anything she's in. She excels. She motivates others to just do good work because that's what she always does. She exemplifies Drury, not just her honesty and her hard work. She is a really good connector with people. She engages with people. Um, she's truthful. Dr. Laura is my own granddaughter's doctor. They really like her a lot. Madeline, who is seven, says that she's the greatest doc in the whole world. And Isabella says, she, I said, what do you think about Dr. Laura? And she said, 
She makes me happy. You know when you're meeting somebody special and you just respect them. And my respect for her is immense. She doesn't ask for it. She doesn't take it. You just respect her. He really wanted to build a family, you know, the bowling family here. We're a new kid on the block, so to speak. I mean, a program that's, that's so new, um, you do have to, you know, convince players and parents that, that uh, you know, this is the right place for them and there's an opportunity for them. And, and um, you know, I think he did a really good job of that. Hello, Caroline. Hello. How are y'all? We heading on our road trip? Yeah. All right. Where are we going? Belleville. Belleville, Illinois. Yeah, how long's the drive? Three and a half hours. My daughter Caroline joined uh, the second year. It was a good fit for her. You know, she just had natural talent for it. And I think that um, she really respected him and what he was, you know, putting together. He um, coached the girls in a way that made them proud to be Drury students and make the university proud. We had this personal tragedy last summer, and Larry was uh, one of the first people I called. I mean, he was very close with Caroline, and he, like we, was in shock. Throughout that process, um, and you know, up through visitation and funeral, I mean, he came in with his wife, and then the girls all showed up, and, and uh, you know, it was very, you know, supportive and very helpful for us to kind of get through that situation. and. I uh, can't say enough about, um, you know, his efforts and, you know, it takes a village, right? You've got to have support to get through that kind of a, uh, you know, tragedy. And so we were uh, really blessed to have him, uh, you know, as a friend and, and source of comfort in that time.